Updating breaking news in southwest Baltimore, a stubborn wind-whipped warehouse fire. WJZ Live with Frederick and Calverton. Ava Joy Burnett with the latest from Baltimore City Fire. Ava Joy. Vic, good evening to you. That's the best word to describe this fire at this point. If you look right over my shoulder, you see it is still going. Every few minutes when it seems as if they've gotten it under control, it flares up again, and you see the flames are whipping up right now. So this started a little bit before 4 this afternoon. Crews have been here on the scene trying to get it under control, and because it's been so windy all day into the afternoon, that's proving to be an issue. I spoke with the fire. Chief here on the scene, and he said the wind is making it that much more difficult for them to get this thing under control. But they are prepared to stay out here as long as it takes. Take a listen. Well, the weather is a big factor with us right now with the high winds. As you, have, as you can see, this is all an exterior operation, and we have ladder pipes in service. So basically, we're not getting a direct stream to go down into the building trying to hit the seat of the fire itself due to the fact the wind is just blowing uh, streamlines off course. Now, this is a vacant warehouse on Frederick Avenue in South Smallwood. It started a little bit before for this fire. We have been told that they do not believe that anyone is inside at this point, but they will not be able to confirm that until they get everything under control and go in just to verify vacant warehouse, as I said earlier. Now, the fire chief also said because it's been so windy, they've been watching to make sure that there are no embers flying around to potentially go and affect other homes in the area. They are asking asking people to close their doors and windows to prohibit the smoke from entering their homes. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. Of course, we'll have the latest on this fire tonight at 11 and at CBSBaltimore.com.